Hi, I'm Wayne and welcome to Bastow Woodworking. Off camera I made a bunch of changes to where things are located in the shop and that has actually created a couple of problems. The problem started when I finished that 2x72 inch belt sander behind me. I needed a cart to put it on so I stole the cart that used to sit next to my drill press. My drill press used to sit over here where my belt and disc sander are now located. Um, I decided that this is probably a better place in the shop for them so I moved that from that wall to that wall and I moved the drill press over to where my mobile workbench used to be. My mobile workbench was just staying where it was and it wasn't being very mobile. So now I have it over here staged so that when I want to use it I pull it out and then I can get better access to the back where all the um, power outlets are on it. So now that leads us to what the actual problem is. And the problem is the drill bits now are just sitting on a workmate. So today we're going to build a cart for that. The cart we build is going to be dead simple. It just needs to hold this toolbox which keeps all my pliers and all my drill bits on top and then I'm going to just keep the bottom simple either make it one cabinet with shelves inside or make it drawers I'm not quite sure yet but it's going to be storage for some chisels and things like that that already have their own container that I just don't have space for elsewhere. I don't want the cart to be larger than the cart that the drill press currently sits on so it can't be over 18 inches deep and it can't be more than 36 inches high when it's on its casters. So we should be able to do this with about half a sheet of plywood. To start, I rip two project panels down to 18 inches. These will be my sides, bottom, and shelf. And then it was over to the radial arm saw where I had a stop block set for 23 inches. This will be the total height of the cabinet without casters. I have the sides and the back cut. Now I'm going to load my dado stack into my table saw and I will cut rabbits on each side of the back to hold the sides. And then I will also cut a dado for a shelf that I'm going to build into this. I'm just going to build one shelf whether I end up putting drawers on top of that shelf or whether I end up putting a door is still to be decided, but I'll just put a shelf midway through the cabinet. For anyone that's ever wondered what kind of blade I run in my table saw, I generally keep just a Amana 60 tooth um, electro blue blade in there all the time, even when I'm doing just rip cuts. Um, it's a full curve blade, so I haven't really seen it get bogged down at all um, when using it as a ripping blade. I do see that it burns cherry um, pretty readily, but that's a problem with cherry anyway. So I don't really like changing blades out all that often, so I just kind of keep a 60 tooth blade in there all the time. It was then time to assemble the basic frame to the cabinet, so I began by just laying the back down and gluing and tacking the sides and bottom onto the cabinet and then driving some screws to lock everything in. The cabinet's coming along really well so far. Now. I'm going to put casters on it, that way I can start just building it off the floor. Um, I decided to make it a lot shorter than I initially intended because I want the toolbox to sit low. That way it's not in the way of the table of the drill press. So I have these leftover casters. I forget what I salvaged these off of, but they are 
perfectly fine for this. Um, I would prefer to have four four-way swivel casters, but I guess this will have to do. Um, so I'm just going to drill them in with some screws. I'm going to put the two swivels on the front. That way I can, I can rotate it um, while looking at it and then back it into where it needs to go. I think it'll just be easier. I headed back to the table saw to rip the cutoffs down to two and a half inches. These will be my face framing. So status update. When I was putting the face boards on, I realized that my shelf is slanted about a half an inch. Um, I must have mixed up the sides when I was cutting the dado and cut the bottom on the wrong side. So, can't really recover from that mistake. Um, I would have to take it apart and cut new dados. So I'm gonna leave it as is. Um, obviously, it's not ideal to have a shelf with a half inch slant in it, but this is only gonna be used in my shop and I'm too deep into it now to change it. So I'm gonna have just a really slanted shelf. I've evened out the face on this so that at least from outward appearances, it will look normal. Um, and only I will know that it is um, trash. With the base of the car assembled and faced, I could then cut the tabletop and secure it to the cabinet. I'm not using any glue to secure the tabletop in case I ever have to remove it or swap it out. And here I'm just knocking off the rough corners with my trim router. Parts essentially finished. I'm just going to hit it with one quick sanding and then put one quick coat of lacquer on it just to protect it. Um, overall, it's a failure of a project because the shelf is a half an inch off level, but I'm still going to use it. So I want to make sure that it's protected. And then at a future date, when I figure out whether I want to do drawers, which are now more likely that the shelf is off center. I'll probably put drawers in this because then I can just mount slides at level and that cross piece just becomes a brace that kind of helps keep it square. While that dries, I'm going to clean up the shop and start breaking down the current drill station so that I can wheel this in and then put everything on it. Um, I will do the drawers at a later date. Um, it's getting kind of late and I probably pick up on drawers tomorrow. That's gonna do it for right now. I'll add drawers in a future video, but it's a nice, quick, easy cabinet. It's on caster, so I can move it around really easily, and it actually ended up being the perfect height so that I can still use the full height of my drill press without worrying about the box of drill bits getting in the way. So thank you for watching. Make sure you like, comment, and subscribe to keep up to date with new projects as they are released. And until next time, thank you. Mm -hmm.